Often it's all too easy to go internal and take all the responsibility. It worked or didn't work because of me, but that's not really how it is. And then, and then you add on top of that, the personal life stressors um, that, that um, can come up. And any of those things, uh, one can have difficulty. I can have difficulty managing, become dysregulated. Um, the hyperfocus means that I tend to get and stay distracted from work. Those are all stressors. And then once I get like any of those stressors, you know, that, that can start to lead that, that it goes unresolved can lead to, it really gets me into a, a, a vicious cycle of a, a dysregulation spiral. So I get, I get stressed out. I get anxious. Um, that which leads to mental and physical tension. I go into defensive behaviors, worry, self-protective avoidance, distraction. Um, there's dysregulation, including sleep, which leads to less capacity for attention, less capacity for motor skills and motor planning, less executive functioning, which then can lead to more and bigger mistakes, um, hyper-focus, getting stuck on the wrong details, self-justification, externalizing blame, attacking perceived sources of threat all of which go over really well in a work environment, leading to more fit, more negative feedback, possible discipline, job loss, bad reviews that limit my potential to advance and my potential for access to organizational power and privilege that could actually help me fix the problems that are affecting me. The idea of shifting social norms through community connection with this vision of like, what what, like, can I rethink some things in my life that aren't working for me or maybe are working for me? And can I learn about my access needs in that way?